coming up to the intersection of uh, Scott Boulevard, going under the Druid Hills Railroad Bridge. see a date on it. It says Druid Hills. Fernbank Science Center is to the right, the observatory. Postal Inn is a pretty drive. I should have did that cutoff right there. That's real pretty cool. Oh, we're on our way to Little Five. Okay, now it's about 12 o'clock. It's about 50 degrees. I think it was 50 degrees in Atlanta, and instead of filming directly into the sun, no, it's 42 degrees in Candler Park. Instead of filming directly into the sun going into Little Five, I cut over to McClendon. So we're running parallel to Ponce de Lynn and Decatur Street, DeKalb Avenue, in between. There's still Zestos up here on the left. I want to turn and go down. Or even maybe loop the block. Maybe I'll just go straight down. Maybe that's not a Zestos anymore. Maybe the Zestos is a, little, is a little further down. I just don't remember. There's someone over there very animated. I don't think you're going to be able to see it on camera, but it looks like he is fighting somebody, and you know, fighting a, a wind beast, an imaginary person. This is Little Five. That's not unexpected or a surprise at all. Bass High School is down here on the right. It's, uh, I think it's apartments now, but it could be condos. The A&P was right here on the left where Ragarama is. I worked there a couple of months when it was an A&P. Bass High School on the right. Bass Lofts now. We're going to turn around and go back up through and then go to, to the left instead of coming in into the sun. Go down by Jumpman's Daughter if that's still there. I guess it is. Some of y'all have to help me out. I guess this would be considered bohemian. I don't know. I don't know what type of culture this is. Old hippie?
very in town though, whatever you'd like to call it. Yeah, this is Euclid Avenue. We're gonna turn left here and go down Moreland. On the other side of Pontsville Inn, it is Briarcliff. But we're going to turn left on Ponce and go down Ponce. I said it's 12.06. I think we may go by and get us a couple of uh, Krispy Kreme donuts and then cruise through the varsity. Maybe get a chili dog, a hamburger, a ring. And then head on out north side, hit 75, and head north to Armurchie, Georgia. Okay, well that is Zesto's over there. It just didn't have the name on the side, but yeah, okay, that's still Zesto's. Crystal Blue, Pray for Atlanta. Corner Tavern. Well, they used to have a precinct down here, City of Atlanta Police. I don't know if they still do or not. Seven Netta is up here on the right. Yeah, there's a junk man's daughter. We'll cut through the parking lot. Well, maybe we won't. They got it blocked. Maybe you got to see it. We're going to go down here to Ponce and turn left. Passing by the old Claremont Motel there on the left. Still has a Claremont Lounge side sign there. Or one of them, I think one of them sold. BOA Tower, old Sears store. Ford Lofts was a Sears, I mean, a uh, Ford plant factory. AT&T, formerly Bell Sound, Southern Bell Tower. Hans Park. See the old magnolias that used to be in center field at the ball field? I think we're going to go that way, see if we can go behind these places. The main thing I wanted to see was the magnolias. Now there are two of them there, I'm not sure which one. They were probably both here, but I'm not sure which one was prominent then. There used to be a plaque, but somebody stole it. As large as these are, I'm sure both of them were here. I suspect that one's it though, because it's the highest. Just behind the Whole Foods and stuff and the Home Depot. We're going to head back out and head up Ponce. You can see the BOA Tower? We just passed the Krispy Kreme. I decided not to, not to go in there. Mary Max here on the right.
We'll turn right on Peachtree and go down by the Fox and then cut over, run through the Varsity, but I don't think I'll stop there either. Whiskey Go Go used to be right there in that building there on the right downstairs, but I'm not sure. Here is the Fox. Looking north on Peachtree. Third Street is one way, so we will go down fourth to the left. Okay, we're going right into the sun, but the bar is here on our right. We're going to ride through. We'll ride up top unless it's closed. Just loop around and head out. Go down by Georgia Tech. This was a cruising spot in the 60s, I guess 50s, 60s, into the 70s. I've lived in Atlanta all my life. I've seen a lot of construction and a lot of building, but I have never seen more than is what, what is going on in Atlanta and this, right around the surrounding area. Now, it is unbelievable. There's a couple of old ones, 63 Impala and a GMC pickup. All oh, right, 63 Bel Air, I'm sorry. Bunch of Jeeps, Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get them jeepers? Yeah, I know. That's rather corny. <laughs> I got two jeepers. Georgia Institute of Technology, better known around here in Georgia as the Trade School on North Avenue. side we're going to turn left up here and go by the site where the city of Atlanta was surrendered to Union forces September the 2nd 1864 is right here on this corner and there is a marker still up here unless it has been stolen on the left side so you won't hardly get to see it.
guess the city of Atlanta is talking to someone there about something. everywhere. This is the intersection of 14th Street. Back in the 60s, 14th Street was the hippie, hippie central. 14th and Little Five. We'll be going by the City of Atlanta Waterworks. 